this. 414 Milwaukee, somebody from Milwaukee. Uh, what are the minimum hours to book your services? I really need you. <laughs> okay, well, that is a good start to the video. Um, I wanna explain the travels. So I've gone through, so the, the three places that I traveled to and I, I wanted to travel to um, were Chicago, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, Mini, we're just gonna call it Mini, and uh, Colorado, Colorado, Colorado. Um, and you know, it's so interesting. I, I, so if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter or Twitter, um, I travel a, a little bit. It's a lot. It's a lot of traveling just um, within a month, I would say, uh, just because of the like direction that it is. Um, let me get up my media studio. So right now I'm getting up my media studio because um, I can easily get to my comments and everything. On so I made a couple vertical videos while I was traveling, and. I guess I didn't really have a game plan going into it. The, the main thing that I wanted to get done for sure is to take some good photos of the landscapes and kind of just be there, you know? Uh, so that was like the main main thing. I didn't vlog too much, as much as I wanted to. I felt, I felt like I was a little tired of like vlogging all over the place. And I didn't also know what to talk about while I was there. Um, it was kind of nice actually not doing that just because a lot of people didn't look at me weird like the last time. Uh, but I did go by train again. So it, it took me, so it took like a, a couple hours to get to Minneapolis. Um, it, I think it was like, I think it was eight hours and then um, yeah, I think it was eight hours for that. And then Chicago's like two hours, one hour and a half. Um, and then Colorado, Colorado was, uh, two days, two days and a half. Uh, but most of the, most of the days, uh, or the second day when I came back to Colorado, it was more like three days, maybe even four days. Um, that's what it felt like <laughs> for some reason. <clears throat> so I started on January 12th of the Amatrek um, rail pass and that's when I went straight to Minneapolis during the morning uh, I did a quick photo shoot I like kind of went around the area and um, <laughs> I, I planned out where I was gonna go a few weeks ahead um, and I decided that that was the one of the places that I wanted to go a beautiful city it was very very cold when I went there um, I feel like I've reiterated this so much in person and just on my stories but it's it was it was pretty cold um, I got some good pictures. I got some good video. Um, there's still some stuff that I haven't shared even. Um, and then the second place that I'd spent a little bit, bit of time on and I wanted to go back to and like stay in was Chicago. So um, I went to this cool, very cool bar in Chinatown, near Chinatown. And um, they, they let me out. So the one of the servers actually was kind enough to let me out on the, um, on the patio, on the rooftop. Um, it was very cold. It was probably closed off. It was closed off because it was slippery and nobody want, wants to go out there when it's cold. Uh, but when you're a photographer, it's kind of like a dream to go outside uh, where nobody else can be <laughs> just because you can take photos. Um, so Loki, it was kind of cool. I, I bet they would have let other people on there as well, but um, I was pretty psyched to go out there. Um, it was reasonably cold and the sunset was pretty amazing. Uh, you can see some photos here. So it was looking, I think, westward, westward towards the west, uh, westward towards the loop, and then um, eastward towards the lake uh, by the Marriott. And those were some really good photos. It was very, it was just a very nice sunset. So the last place that I went was Denver, Colorado, and that was a little bit of a mess. We're not, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. There's definitely more time to share more details about that. Um, quick, quick shout out to Jason and Griffin, um, though, for helping me out on that trip. And so I spent some time in uh, Idaho Springs. That was a very beautiful place. Um, very, very nice people. Very nice people. Um, I, I bought some things there and I actually had a lot to eat there. Um, and then I woke up for sunrise there. It was beautiful. Here's some images of it. 
very, very, very cool place. Uh, Denver was also pretty beautiful. I was actually a little bummed out that I couldn't see the mountains as much in the city. Um, I was actually quite surprised that I couldn't see the mountains as much. Um, there were like a few streets where I was able to see them, but um, like the so somebody from Denver is going to tell me like, yeah, you were on the wrong side of town um, <laughs> to see the mountains, but it's like I couldn't I couldn't find any any leverage point where I could see like the mountains in there entirely. Um, so, I mean, just in the city, like outside of the city, I was in the mountains, but in the city, it was very difficult to find somewhere um, where I could see the mountains. And I did find, find a park that was um, high enough where I could see the mountains and see a little bit of the landscape. Um, but yeah, so let me see what I got. Let me see. <laughs> Dude, Nick, Nick is back. I understand the need to switch up, switch it up when editing, especially when it's longer term project is necessary in order to not go absolutely insane. Thank you, Nick, for the comment. Nick's been going crazy on the videos um, this year and last year. Uh, really happy to see it. But yeah, sometimes you just need to change up your like workflow and stuff. Um, but yeah. This is another good comment. Uh, you're going to be replaced by a robot soon. This was this was under my commercial photographer uh, video. Um, maybe. I I think it's definitely possible. Um, we'll see. We'll we will see. M misery misery said can't go wrong with chocolate. So we actually have new chocolates. Go here. I'll place a place a video real quick. These things are gonna be. Um, you guys can go check them out um, on the side there and let's see let's see so hazel and cream sweet collection you see this you seen this right now this is super fancy uh, thankfully oh it was upside down <laughs> oh my gosh yeah they are like little dude what they're like little okay they're like little <laughs> I don't want them to drop on the floor there there's a bunch of different like assortment of um, these little cupcake things. Let's try, I like the sprinkle ones. Um, so it's like, <clears throat> it's kind of like Oreo, but it's got this like covered one, nuts. And then I'm scared of this one. I'm scared of, I'm really scared of the white, <clears throat> completely, completely white one. And then I don't know what this is. I think it's like raspberry or something. You seen that? Raspberry, yeah. So more chocolates. They were absolutely amazing. I had all of them. I'm I'm a little sick, so I had some while I was sick, and uh, they were pretty great. So, so go check them out uh, in the description. And yeah. Uh, also, I'm getting a Valentine's photo shoots uh, video together right now. Uh, so get ready for that as well. Uh, waste of time wanted to hear about focusing in low light. So focusing in low light isn't a problem. Um, you just have to make sure that there is enough light around so that you can see and actually focus. Otherwise, no light at all. It does pretty, the Canon R, RP does really bad at uh, focusing with no light. Um, I would say that. Um, but yeah, Canon, Canon RP does okay in low light. Also, also thank, thank you to everybody that commented uh, Happy New Year. That was pretty cool. Um, I think it was, uh, I think, so I scheduled that upload and I checked it on New Year's or I think it was like New Year's night or New Year's day. I was like, why is everybody commenting? And I was like, oh yeah, I said comment. So um, that was pretty cool to see. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one, this one's kind of cool. Um, this reminds me of my photography class in high school. Almost want a camera again. Yeah, I know. It's, it's so weird. I started um, photography in high school. I wouldn't say I started photography in high school, but um, yeah, it, do, it does remind you of like photography class. I'm, I am, yeah, o always in photography class. That is, that's basically what that is. But you know, the funny thing about like photography class um, is that 
I don't know, I was never a huge fan of photography class anyways. Like, I would like being in it, but I would just mess around. Like, I don't know. I, I probably, I would still mess around today. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's. Was editing a video and the idea to edit a video in VR popped in my head. I was curious to see if anyone had done it before and you absolutely nailed it. Yeah. So I don't know. I just sometimes I think of ideas and sometimes I actually execute them. And this was one of the things that I wanted to execute them um, and do it. Uh, but yeah, very, very happy. Very happy that, that people like the video. Um, yeah. East Coast Unlocked TV said, LMAO, definitely just purchase yourself, stop the cap. So, Channel of Stuff said, you need a USB 3.0 cable to not have latency. So, yeah. So, I do have a USB Type C, but. So, I do have a U. So I do have a USB type C, except for, I feel like there's a certain one that needs that you need to have for like the network connection, um, which I don't know why it, it hasn't been able to connect properly. So we'll have to look back at that because I haven't been able to get that working uh, correctly. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm going to go get some water. I am. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, the other thing is I've gotten a lot of requests to do to help people out with like photography and Right now is just a very difficult time. I'm in my last semester of college. Hopefully um, as long as things go right so uh, Awesome clips clicks. Can I learn photography from you? So I've got a lot. I, I've tried being I've tried Doing as much as I can on my website as far as like articles and then like videos and um, adding other resources to the articles and like Reddit pages, um, other photography pages and <clears throat> like one-on-one -on -one sessions I think would be good. Um, I mean I've helped, helped other friends, helped people before um, with photography or just on like photo, photo things. Um, it's just all, it's very difficult, especially when you get like two or three of these, um, at once during a week, um, asking for like photography tips. Like if you have photography tips, you can like ask me. Uh, but I also have a bunch of other resources on my website, um, with photography tips. And you know, if you have something, if you have a question, like definitely let me know because, um, I'm definitely interested in learning more and, um, yeah, so that, that's kind of the answer to this is that you can learn photography from me. Um, this YouTube's, YouTube is a great resource for a lot of things that I uh, use and practice and I go over a lot. So like the beach, the beach photo shoot one um, was a fun one to research because um, it's just like now, now I know right away like what needs to happen during like a beach photo shoot or like a swimwear photo shoot. Um, I recently recently actually had a swimwear company that I was working with um, and they wanted more photos actually, but uh, the project was on a beach and it's like, you just, once you know some of the th these things that it's very helpful because um, then you can put them into practice, which is what I like doing like right away. <laughs> um, so, so, I would definitely go check out my website um, and yeah. Uh, I just want to know what type of camera you use and lens. Can you tell me? So right now I'm on, I'm just going to tell you what I use right now. You can use Amazon uh, shop.com to check out like what I, all the gear that I use. Uh, but the camera that I use right now is a Canon RP EOS RP mirrorless camera, uh, full frame and a 50 millimeter uh, 1.8 STM uh, EF. And then I also have a converter on there, the RF to EF uh, converter, um, or EF to RF converter on there as well. So that's, that's what I use to shoot with for this video in particular. 
do do you know any places where I can get a camera? So, um, I bought my camera. I think I I bought my one of my cameras on Canon Canon website. Um, I've also gone to B and H, uh, Adorama. Uh, those are the three places that I look. Otherwise, sometimes I search on eBay and Facebook uh, Marketplace. Um, Facebook is the only like sketchy place I would say. Um, to be wary of, but you can definitely get some deals on there uh, for lenses. Uh, let me see, because I know I've gotten I've gotten like a few like um, film lenses from that. So let, let me see. So it says, "Hey, I'm going to school to become a pro pro professional photographer in Racine. You got any tips for me?" Um, <clears throat> any tips I that is so that that's such a broad like it depends on like what you're doing if you're doing like portraits landscapes um, portraits landscapes products e-commerce um, weddings weddings are completely different wedding events things like that you know there's just a bunch of stuff that you can learn but just just learn light basically learn learn how to use light and stuff um, Number one. Hola, mira, quiero hacer una pregunta que app es buena para arreglar o editar fotos en mi computador. So he's asking, uh, I want, I have a question. What app is good for uh, cropping or editing your photos on your computer? So I use Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, both those are really good. Those are really the only two ones that I use, Lightroom and Photoshop for photos. Um, I don't, yeah, those are the only ones that I use for photos. Um, so quick shout out to uh, Adobe. Can you do video shoots for a song? So I did do one, like what do video photographers do uh, for music videos? W what do they do? And I would say that I don't necessarily do that anymore. I, I have done it in the past, um, but I do not do too many music videos anymore. So, um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't do a poll on here. What do you guys want to see on this channel? Now, we, ha we have some great ideas so far. Uh, photo tips, more behind the scenes. Um, but what else? What else do we want to see? Do we want to see in-action photo shoots? Do we want to see more vlogs? Um, where like I'm not in my house, where I'm like outside. Um, Cause there's, I would say that right now, uh, there is a lot that I do um, where I'm not always in the house. And it would, it would honestly make it very easy to bring you guys outside the house. Um, let me see. But I, I thought I'd just share that with you guys right now because I asked Twitter, I asked Instagram, um, and it's only right to do it on the YouTube channel when the YouTube channel is like the main, the main thing. So uh, let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, go check out the next video. There, we're doing Valentine's Day videos and fitness videos. Uh, go check those out. It's very excited, very, very excited to share those. Um, and hopefully I get better soon because I've been sick. So, yeah. First, like going over like all the mountain stuff, it kind of reminded me of Ecuador a little bit. So in Ecuador, there's just like this huge mountain top. Now, I don't, I was never really outside when we were on, but we were through like the buses for a few hours on in Ecuador. So it kind of reminded me of this, but uh, we're in front of the capital here. Um, pretty beautiful and yeah just look at this view it's absolutely phenomenal um, yeah 